What's up, guys? How are you? Welcome into a Monday morning episode of the Daily Juice Podcast. My name is Matt Peralt. You guys can follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt. We are being brought to you by our friends at OmahaSteaks.com slash juice. Subscriptions available there. 10% off your first purchase. Burgers for life when you get a subscription and that 100% money back guarantee as well at OmahaSteaks.com slash juice. All right. Boy, was yesterday important. Six units. We won six units yesterday. For those of you who are in the comment section and talking about the fact that I don't explain bets or I'm making excuses, I told you about being in the Discord channel. We took advantage yesterday, all right? We got out of the Tennessee future. We were on Purdue. We were flat there. We won four units on the NC State play. Some of you guys didn't hedge, and you won seven. Some of you guys bet a full unit and you won 14 units yesterday, all right? So these are all the things to keep in mind as we go through the next couple of weeks, all right? So look, historically in 2024, I'm still down about three units, okay? That's okay. We'll make it back. Not a big deal. Big week. Winning week. Big, big bounce back spot yesterday. Both NBA bets correct. Spurs plus eight and a half. That covered. We had the over in the Denver game. That got there easily. All right, so two good plays in the NBA that we got. I got a couple of more NBA bets bets for us here coming up today. But these are the ups and the downs, all right? If you can't handle it, don't play, all right? So overall, if you look at the full magnitude of the future wagers that we took, if you hedged, you won four units, you lost five, so it was down one. That's okay, all right? We, I, I said we weren't going to lose money. We did lose one unit on the full experiment. But we got out of the Tennessee one. Actually, no, that's wrong. No, 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 we were flat because we got out of the Tennessee one. So, no, that's not true. So, it's flat, 4-4. Four, four. Nope, we were good. We didn't lose any money. So, we were flat on the experiment. Didn't make money, didn't lose money. Some of you were busy with Easter. I got a bunch of DMs of like, I couldn't hedge. I was tied up. I wasn't watching. I just I came home and I saw my account and I went, oh my gosh, I won seven units or I won 14 units. So that's great. If you took the NC State future, bam, you're right there, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, there's a decent shot we're going to take the NC State future at 18-1 to 1 to win the national championship, okay? Haven't done it yet. There's no real need to do it just yet. It's not going to go down. It's only going to go up. So let's see how it plays out. Let's see how much money comes in on UConn. Everyone is on UConn. Everyone's on Purdue. All right? <laughs> Alabama plus the points. NC State plus the points. Going to be hard for me to get off that. All right? <laughs> NC State 18 to 1. NC State plus the points. Alabama plus the points. I mean, I don't know. The dogs are going to be disrespected in the market. I'll tell you that right now, heading into the final four. But we have some time, so we don't need to make that play just about yet. We can wait to see how the week plays out, how the market responds, any injury news, whatever we need to get ourselves into, guys getting sick and whatnot. So, But I'm just telegraphing ahead of time what I'm going to be on here for the final four coming up. But that was so needed, and a couple of you sent me DMs going, you were the, you were the villain yesterday and you're the hero today. That is what comes with this podcast. I understand that, okay? When people are angry about losing, I'm the guy that you DM and yell at, all right? When I win, all of a sudden, it's Pied Piper, Matt, let's go. We're, we're following you to the ends of the earth. It's okay. I get that that's what this is, but winning six units in one day was incredibly needed. So that was a nice, nice end of the week, a nice bounce back for us there, and congrats to NC State. Got that right. We played off that 14 to 1. That was tremendous. I know a bunch of you, though, <laughs> that hedged as well as I. And so we ended up winning four units. We hedged three units on Duke. And it didn't, I mean, Duke just got boat raced at the end of that game. I couldn't believe it. I still can't believe that happened. I, I mean, Duke was right there, about 10 minutes to play. We hedged, on, we hedged it when it was, you know, on the way down, but it got to be like major plus money on Duke, like shocking major money on plus money on Duke. So I couldn't hold my water. I should have waited even longer and gotten plus money out of it. And then it could have been even an, an easier bet, but we only bet three units. We were going to bet three to win two. That's what happened. We won seven, lost three, came out with four, two bets in the NBA, two units there, six unit day. Good, good stuff. 
Before we get to the picks today, and I got a bunch of picks in a bunch of different sports, I always want to remind you guys about what's going on here for us with the Discord channel at bettingpros.com slash chat. And for us with a variety of things that are going to happen, I'll give you an update. I was trying to update you there a little bit on the standings as to what we've been doing here, um, you know how we've been rolling, but I forgot to put the graphic up there, so I apologize for that. It just went black, but we'll get to that tomorrow on the podcast. All right, let's get to two NBA plays, one baseball play, one hockey play, and then I want to watch the Cubs number, okay? The Cubs have this guy from Japan pitching who did not have a good spring training but making his debut on opening day for Chicago. There's something to look at there with that and there may be an opportunity to kind of jump in with the Cubs who are taking on the Rockies we're going to fade the Rockies a lot so the Rockies just were in Arizona now they're flying to Chicago playing a day game against the Cubs we'll see where the wind's blowing Chicago's a two to one or a minus 200 favorite at the moment but watch the Cubs game I may have an ad on the Cubs and the Rockies game later on today I'll tell you about it in the discord channel bettingpros.com slash chat but I'm taking the Red Sox on the run line against the A's I watched the last three innings of the A's and the Guardians, it was 3 nothing. We told you about, about the starting pitcher yesterday for the A's and, and how he was probably going to be pretty good. And it was like, okay, he's, you know, they, they got a couple of pitchers on that, on that roster for the A's that I think you have to be careful of fading the A's just because it's they're not as horrific as some of the other guys. But their bullpen is not that good, okay? The, their bullpen came in, gave up three earned runs. Game goes to extra innings. I mean, should have been one in the top of the ninth. I, I mean, Cleveland just completely choked that game away. It was actually kind of stunning to watch how badly Cleveland botched. But they were given a first and third and nobody out in the top of the ninth inning because the second baseman let the ball go through his legs in a horrific, horrific play. And then the pitcher, the the um, Jimenez, the reliever, threw the ball into second base because he thought the shortstop was going to cover on a pickoff play and nobody was home. Like, it was ridiculous. Like I, I, It was bad news bears type stuff for the Oakland A's. So Oakland won their first game of the year yesterday, beating Cleveland 4-3 to three in extra innings. Blackburn, seven innings, three hits, no earned runs. He was great. Carrasco was okay, five innings, three earned runs. But now we have the Red Sox coming in, and the Red Sox are 2-2. Two and two. They're pitching extremely well. Starters have an ERA under two so far this year for Boston. And look at you, may go, Matt, it's really early. I, I completely agree. But the Red Sox have scored five runs yesterday. They won five to one. They won six to four, scoring six runs. In the, in the games they lost, it was one nothing and four to three that they lost. But they still scored three runs in that Mariners game that they lost. The A's offense is okay, but... I like the way Boston's playing. It's big plus money at plus 120. And Tanner Hawk's been pretty good for the Red Sox. Right-handed pitcher coming in. Joe Boyle is going. A guy that has, put it this way, Joe Boyle doesn't even have a picture of him up on ESPN.com. That's how little we know about Joe Boyle going for the Oakland A's here. He's mostly likely going to be I don't know, a guy that they think they can roll with a little bit. The last time he started was in September. He was an early call-up. He's 24 years old. Red Sox on the run line. I'm taking Boston to keep the, the train running, running here. A's are awful. Who the hell is going to be there today? I mean, yesterday, no one was there. Again, I don't think anyone's going to be there either today for this game, but it is a night game at least. Red Sox fans will be in the building. There'll be more Red Sox fans than A's fans there, guaranteed. Boston, 640 Pacific time start, 940 Eastern time start for this one. Red Sox on the run line, plus money. We're taking one unit on Boston run line, plus 120 up against the A's. All right, to basketball. Speaking of Boston, Celtics are on the road, taking on the Charlotte Hornets. Boston... The total of this game is 216 and a half. It's coming down. You may get a better price than me on this. But Boston is 20 and 19 to the over, 7 and 3 to the over over their last 10, 4 and 1 to the over over their last 5. Charlotte is 4 and 1 to the over over their last 5. Charlotte including 5 over the last 6. Their last game against the Clippers, they gave up 130 points to the Clippers and the game went over by 32 points. We've got 
the Celtics coming off of an underperformance against New Orleans where they won the game 104-92, went under by 27 and a half points. But the previous five games in the previous seven of eight all went over. 228 and a half against Atlanta on the road, 225 against Atlanta. Both those games went way over. Against Chicago on the road, 219 and a half, over by 17 and a half points. And Detroit, 224, it went over by seven. Milwaukee at home went over by 16. Washington on the road went over by seven and a half. So the only game so far of the last six on the road for Boston to stay under was last game against New Orleans. It's a good bounce back spot for the Celtics here to score offensively and put up a team against a team with Charlotte who simply does not do very much defensively. Let's be frank and call a spade a spade here in terms of what Charlotte is. Uh, They don't score a ton, but they give up a lot of points. And I think Boston will be looking to take advantage here and score a bunch. Boston on the year is averaging 120 points per game. Charlotte's giving up over 116, 117 points per game. Boston gives up, gives up about 110. We're going over 216 and a half Boston and Charlotte for 1.1 units. And the second NBA play, Phoenix at New Orleans. We're going to watch this Western Conference race, okay? We just took the Spurs plus eight and a half up against the Golden State Warriors. Now, the Warriors won, the Rockets lost. So there's a two game lead now on this, okay? Golden State is 40 and 34. Rockets are 38 and 36. Something to keep an eye on here. That. But the Suns are taking on the Pelicans. Pelicans are two games up. They're 45 and 29 for the sixth seed. That's out of the play in. That's huge. Phoenix, 43 and 31. They are tied with the Kings for the seventh and the eighth seed here. Both those teams trying to get out of the play in into the main tournament into the main bracket the top six teams don't play in the play-in tournament this is a really big game number opened up with the pelicans catching a point it's now pick them i think new orleans wins this game outright now new orleans at home is 20 and 16 ats phoenix on the road is 16 20 and 1 ats at home both these teams coming in both these teams come in losing two of three Oklahoma City on the road lost by 25 points in the last game for the Suns. They got killed. They beat Denver by seven, though, which is pretty impressive. But they lost to San Antonio by two on the road. Previous game beat them by 25. So it's feast, famine, feast, famine. This would be a feast time, hypothetically, for the Suns. But losing them by 12 against Boston. They beat Milwaukee by seven. The the Pelicans did. They lost to Oklahoma City by seven. They beat Detroit by 13. Again, same type of thing. Feast, famine, feast, famine here for the Pelicans. They're at home. They got to protect home court here. I'm taking the Pelicans. New Orleans, pick them to win the game. Minus 110. Win it by anything. Pelicans just to win the game on the money line here at minus 110 for 1.1 units. And finally, I got a hockey play for you guys. The LA Kings and the Winnipeg Jets. Brossois in net confirmed for Winnipeg. He's been really, really good in net. Four straight games to a first period under for the Winnipeg Jets. And we have Cam Talbot in net for the Kings. Expected he should start. Kings are pretty good when Talbot's in net. And he's really good to a first period under as well. Winnipeg is not scoring. I mean, they're in deep trouble right now. They got to get together and get their act together. They're losing games like absolute craziness right now, and they can't afford to keep on losing, but they can't score. Part of the problem is, I mean, they've lost five. How many games have they lost in a row? Uh, Let's see. Winnipeg has now lost six games in a row. They've scored one, three, none, three, one, and two goals in these games. They're not scoring, and they're not scoring in the first period either, okay? They just don't score very much in the first period, but Brossois hopefully won't give up many goals here to the Kings. We'll get out of the first period. It's minus 115. Let's jump back in with with the hockey play. Under in the first period, minus 115, Winnipeg and the LA Kings. All right, we're going to watch that Cubs number, see where it goes, or maybe another bet will come out of you here for that. But Boston, Charlotte, over 216.5. Pelicans on a pick 'em. Red Sox run line against the A's at plus 120. Kings and the Jets, one and a half under, minus 115 on that. And we'll watch the Cubs. The dog's barking again. I apologize. I don't know. It's just one of those things. He gets all pissed off and barks. I apologize. My name is Matt Peralta. Follow me across all socials at Sports Talk Matt every morning. Daily Juice Podcast, always being brought to you by OmahSteaks.com.